This episode of Project Lore is brought to you by Squarespace.com. For 10% off the lifetime of your order, use coupon code PL when you check out. Previously on Project Lore. Nobody died for Frogger. I made it through Frogger. Okay. I'm just glad I'm getting all the sweet guild rep by wearing my guild tavern. Yeah. You're not exalted with the Totally Rad Guild yet? <laughs> Unfortunately not. <laughs> Can I get um, Might? What is that? Oh, oh, he's falling. Yep. Whoa. He's dead. I don't know who gives me might, but I still need it. Just gonna keep asking for that the whole fight. Um, can we rebuff might, please? So Grobulus is the first of what will become the army of flesh giants. What? Yeah. That Why crazy? was I not informed? Yeah, he drops these little poison clouds. We'll see what happens. Usually the slimes all come out. My name is Grobulus. Oh, oh. Here's a person to attack. Oh, got a gas problem. Okay, we got More two beam. slimes that came out. Two slimes. Mr. Richard's alive. A lot of deeps not on the slime. Lots of deeps not on the slime, exactly. Slime's up. Got it. Deeps on slime. Slime's toast. Mutagen, watch out for me. Nice. Watch out for me. Still, two pieces of leather. Roll on the BOE. Hey, it looks like more bad. First off, how cool is it that they change the way warlock summonings happen? It's so much nicer now. Yeah, now it looks like a Tim Burton movie, which is awesome. Well, but not only that, it's, it's completely usable now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now it's like you can basically port anybody anytime, anywhere, which is epic. With Speaking a of warlock. epic. Somebody just got their new shoulders, what up? Let's all look at you, let's all run around and look. Dude, everybody look, look in awe of my huge giant shoulders. upgrade. Huge upgrade, sir. dude. I went from you? blue level 70 shoulders, or 78 you? shoulders. So you only need one more piece to have the set. Oh, to have all of it? Yeah, I mean, if you want No, I have the hands. You I have the hands, have so you already on. have a set. Yeah. I mean, they're no, like, pointy Voltron around. shoulders, but I'm sh I imagine they're pretty cool. They're pretty decent. I think that looks pretty cool. I like them. It's funny, I'm leveling a druid, and I will say there is something very unsatisfying with the fact that you can get cool new armor and cool new weapons, and then you turn into the same cat you turn into at level 20. You know what I mean? Like, it just seems You mean so... cat as in actually a feline rather than the hip cool thing Yes, that the... not as the jazz <laughs> type of use of the verb or I thought, word. I thought maybe you were really cool and hip and yeah. started no. playing alto sax for some reason. I did, reason. I was like, ah, got a dude. Oh yeah, I hit my, I'm, I'm scat spec scat spec scat I don't know if I'd want to be scat I just, spec <laughs> No, I'm sorry, that's like a new air form. I got a new talent, it's <laughs> 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 Actually, that'd be really cool if, if Jazz was the new bard. <laughs> jazz. All right, yeah. is everybody ready? The bard class has a, has a jazz spec. A jazz a, spec. A, uh, a <laughs> Easy listening spec. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Jazz fusion. Okay, we ready? If you have an easy yeah, yeah, listening yeah. and jazz. I love it. <laughs> I'm sort of a hybrid spec. I'm jazz fusion. I'm jazz fusion. <laughs> hey everybody, Alex here from Project Lore. I wanted to break in real quick and give you a little bit of information on the Project Lore guilds. We've got two of them on the Alliance side. It's on our initial server, Executus. For the Horde side, it's over on Tanaris or Tanaris or whatever the heck you like to call it. Amazing. We've got tons of information and a great guild community. Head over to projectloreguild.com, select the guild that you're in, and there's lots of information over there. The guys over at Squarespace hooked us up with the site, which is awesome. And if you want to have a site of your own, use Squarespace. I've been talking about these guys forever. They have the best WYSIWYG editor on the web, best service for setting up your guild sites, your business sites, your personal sites, whatever you want to do, and we convince them to give you 10% off the entire lifetime of your order. Head over to squarespace.com and use the promo code PL when you check out and you will be rocking. And check out our guild information, projectloreguild.com. Now back to your regular scheduled program. All right, we are here at the third boss in the uh, Construct Quarter. Yeah, we're flying through this instance. Jeez, uh, kidding. A raid. This, my friends, is Gluth, or the Loot Pinata. One of the things I love about Gluth is he has his drop, his loot table is every other person in the instance's loot table. Gluth. Gluth. 
This is actually really fun. First time I did this fight, I was like, this is the worst fight in the game in the history. It's actually really fun. So the way it's going to work is Gluth is going to be tanked up by the door, right? The entrance to where we're going to go next after we're done. It's going to be cool. And uh, the tank and off tank have to be ping-ponging ping back and forth between them because he puts on a debuff. So you guys just need to keep you know, grabbing threat from each okay. other, add the debuff, let him fall off, and then grab again. But the really cool thing is he spawns these um, zombies. They just randomly come out of this grate. They're like, hey, bro, in the back of the room. You, we're going to have uh, our Death Knight basically kite them around in the back. Uh, Dorkins and I are going to be dropping frost traps to keep the, the ground really clear. Cause Keeping if, it cold. If the zombies make their way to Gluth and he eats one, he gains a crap ton of health back. Es no bueno. Now, uh, periodically throughout the instance, uh, or th throughout the uh, encounter, uh, Gluth is going to do a decimate. Everything in the encounter gets hit down to like 5% health, including the zombies, because they're really hard to kill. The zombies will then all zombifyly walk towards Gluth to get him to feed him. So we need to AOE those guys, crowd control them as much as we can, um, and get those zombies dead uh, before they make it to Gluth or Gluth. Whatever. So it's a pretty tricky fight, but it's actually really fun and can be quite satisfying when you do it right. Check it out. Let's do Gluth or Gluth. All right, let's do it. I'm ready to do it. Stay on the right side of this as there is a hole on the left that you will fall through. Hey, you don't want to be that guy. And don't be that guy. I've never seen that guy. Oh, you've never seen that guy? I've seen that guy a few times. It's been. Sad. I've never seen that guy. I never thought, I always thought that, that, that was guy, but... something that could never happen, but everybody thought would be funny if it did. Go ahead, best. It's funny until you have to wait for that person to walk all the way around. <laughs> oh, landing on the boss. Fast walk the boss. He's trank. He's got that trank. the debuff. Maybe I haven't got it yet. There it is. Lots Bro, that's what it is, man. It's all about the campfire. Is there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna back him, back him up, so it's gonna be right behind me. That would be easier for you to trip. I ain't tripping. I ain't tripping, son. Destiny. Just maintain. Kill the zombies. Kill the zombies. Stunned all the zombies. Nice, nice. work. Yeah, do that as many times as you can. A lot of zombies. Oh no, that's for me. Kill the zombies. That scared the crap out of me. <laughs> oh my god, a bunch just popped up. Yeah. You don't want to have good ghouls with the bad ghouls. Yeah, it's like, what ghouls are those? Which ghouls? The red ghouls. We're gonna make sure we're this dude. This is real short work. That is. We're like short order cooks. What? 
Nice. Oh, good work. That was scary. Good easy. work. Dead ski. Oh, you got the shoulders again. Now oh, Lyle cool. gets them. Thane's now Lyle gets them. Oh, Lyle Thane's gets them. taint. Nice. Oh, wow. What's Thane's taint? Oh. Wow, that's a really yeah. nice helm. Wait, hey. is that? Better than what do you have, Titan is Steel? That, hey, Bast, is that better? I guess it's better than what I already have, right? Isra says better. Okay. I would listen to whatever Isra says. That says way better. There you uh, go. That, that boss fight was a little oh, yeah. too easy to even give an idea of, of how what hard that, that can be. Yeah. Well, but we did do, I mean, we did the things that you have, technically we did what you have to do, which is have those frost traps, have, you know, a death knight or something yeah. like a death Killed knight. The, once he decimates, mm -hmm. all the health goes down to a fraction, mm -hmm. and then we all had to rush back and kill the zombies before they got to him. Yeah. But usually that happens multiple times in the fight. It's true. With us, we killed him too quickly. Yeah. Still. I think it's maybe all the valorous gear in a that good I'm way. wearing and you're wearing. It's mostly, it was mostly Dorkins, let's be honest. <sighs> mostly the mad deep. Actually, it was mostly Morbib and Juggy. Oh, was it? Mm, I didn't see. I'm sort of a hybrid spec. I'm Jazz Fusion. Jazz Fusion. This episode of Project Lore is brought to you by Squarespace.com. For 10% off the lifetime of your order, use coupon code PL when you check out.